Hi guys, so today we're going to do a video about spring and what rebirths are coming your way as the seasons change and a new cycle begins, especially with the coronavirus and everything going on with that and everybody having so much time and space to themselves to delve into their things and do that inner work and, and take that time for self-care to improve clarity and mental health you know I'd like to go into a video of what's going on in a rebirth sense and so I got three piles here pile one two and three and I'm sure you can tell by the noise in the background why I haven't been on as much lately my kids are home for the last three weeks because of the coronavirus and it's kind of noisy here <laughs> so I hope you don't mind the noise and we're gonna get started with a message for everyone and this message is pertaining to the entire reading it's about taking the time to delve into your emotions and really being able to find peace and go with the flow listen to your inner wisdom and knowledge and your uh third eye chakra and I know that's not necessarily what this card is traditionally about in this deck. This is a new deck, and I have looked this card up. It is about planning and taking action on the plans you're making. And But I think, to me, the picture reminds me of finding peace within what your passions are, what your desires are, and being able to go with the flow and continually building with faith, persistence, determination, passion towards your goals. It's the Seven of Pentacles in this deck. And then we have the death and rebirth card here, which is about being able to protect what's sacred to you, being able to shed the layers of skin that are covering up the beauty within yourself and being able to be reborn into a new way of doing things, a new way of thinking, a new way of acting, a new way of going after your passions and desires. You are sometimes very impatient. Now is the time to be patient and to trust that through taking the right action and putting in the hard work and building slow, steady, strong, stable towards your goals, taking one step at a time, even when there's obstacles and pitfalls, knowing that those things are helping you get to where you're going because you're learning as you go and you get better at it every time. So be patient with yourself. Be patient with other people. People are learning how to remove that mask that covers up who they truly are inside at this time. Mm -hmm. They're really learning how to show who they really are to the world. And there's also a message if you're looking for a love message at this time about do you want me like I want you ride or die I want to be by your side it is time now to become truly vulnerable and to remove those masks yourself because the people you're in a relationship with are also wearing those masks as well and it can be a friendship it can be family it can be relationship it can be a work partnership where you're wearing a mask and you're, you know, putting on a show and trying to show somebody that you're better than you think you are when really you are amazing as you are and accepting that and putting that strength to use is what this reading is about. Take care of your mental health. Pick yourself up and dust yourself off. You got this. Remain grounded at this time. Remember you're safe. Remember you have everything that you need within yourself to move forward and the universe will provide the rest. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. You can fight another day. You've been through so much in your life and it is time now to see that and to see the strength and wisdom that you have gained on your journey to this point and to know that all the hard work you are putting into action right now that you need to get started on is really going to pay off. It is time to take care of your mental health too, to make sure you're taking time and space for your self-care when we're wearing those masks and trying to be our best selves for everyone around us and not accepting that we have our own flaws too. Then we aren't letting them know that it's okay for them to have flaws and we also aren't taking care of ourselves because we aren't taking the time we need, the space we need. We aren't doing the things for ourselves that we need to do because we're worried about taking care of other people instead of realizing that in taking care of ourselves, it takes care care of everyone better along the way and so we are going to get started with pile one now and that's just a message to keep in mind for the reading as we go so pile one 444 I remember that that was when I looked at it originally so we have union 
we have. Hmm. Hold on. I got to check and see what these are because I'm still getting used to this. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the Four of Swords. And we have the Six of Pentacles. And then we have Union. So. One ninety six. We're going to do the four swords first. So structure, routine, order, patterns, discipline, organization, understanding. Oh, I did the wrong one, but maybe that was for a reason. So anyway, there needs to be a lot of understanding in this situation. I'm thinking too. It's the nine of air, so the nine of swords. So for this one, we have self-awareness, universal consciousness, understanding, insight, vision, imagination, fantasy, creativity. Open to possibilities. Possibilities are infinite. Know thyself and know the universe. What dwells within you dwells within nature. Belief creates all that exists was first imagined. Fantasy is the birthplace of reality. You were born to create. Imagine your fears away. Jacob Lee Conscience is a good song. The Nine of Air represents imagination in our connection to the universal consciousness or universal mind. It signifies the importance of, importance of knowing thyself. For in, truly, for in truly knowing thyself, one will know the universe and the power of the void. So... This is time now for you to go within your greatest fears, to truly understand them, to see what you are afraid of, to see if you are afraid of being able to give generously of your time, care, and effort to those around you because in the past it may have been, may have been taken advantage of and wasn't put to good use. There wasn't a fair and equal give and take, a, balanced, a balance to it. And it's time now to examine whether or not that outdated belief is still needed or whether or not it is time to trust that what you give out will come back to you and have faith that releasing the expectations and letting go will bring back something to you even if it's not what you expected it's it will bring something in return because every bit of hard work that we put in always pays off as long as we don't give up 168 I think there's going to be a renewal of your faith at this time, your renewal, a renewal of your faith in humanity and the people around you. Family, community, providence, protection, dependability, responsibility, duty, service, sacrifice, martyrdom. Responsibility and duty to family. Give love, care, and support. Lead by example. A time of sharing. Learn about nature. Important matters need attention. Protect the animals, forests, and oceans. Help for the right reasons. So you need to set aside ego and you need to help people for the right reasons. Not because it's going to give you something, but it's going to be able to allow you to give. When we stop the flow of giving, then it stops the flow all around us. But when we are able to be caring and giving and understanding of others, then it creates that harmonious balance and flow that is needed. Two oh seven. Eight of air. The ego, truth, power, responsibility, consequences, cause and effect, lessons learned, memory. And what was I saying about ego? It's all that mental conflict that's clogging up your brain. When you start getting into fear or anxiety or depression or guilt or shame or any unworthiness feelings, you know, it blocks you. It makes you feel like you're locked in and you can't reach for your dreams. You can't do what you want to do. And it's really not that you can't do it. You're choosing not to do it. You're choosing not to do it because you're choosing not to trust the situation. You're choosing not to trust yourself. You're choosing not to trust the universe. You have learned how to discern things in your life and now it's time to learn how to trust them. Because there is a union coming here, a union of some kind that is going to be very beneficial to you, whether it's in 
relationships, family, friendship, it doesn't matter what it is, there's connections coming into your life. Wholeness, marriage, unity, connection, integration, harmony, alignment, peace. Unity and wholeness. Harmony rises when we are in alignment. You have an unlimited potential, a path that marries science and spirituality. Duality creates separation. The marriage of body, mind, and soul all is connected. Complete self-acceptance. Do not dominate or be submissive. At the center is the void. You are the temple. Worship within. Fear and need. Quarterstones of dependency. So fear and need are the cornerstones of dependency. It's time to release your fear, your anxiety, your need, your, your fear that things are going to end so you don't want to put yourself all the way out there. It's time to put yourself all the way out there and to really let go of control and just be yourself. We also have communicate with those you need to clear the air with. We learn by doing. Ease your troubled mind through rest and play. Take a break. Take Yeah, that's what that Eight of Swords really is all about. It's about taking the time for that self-care, taking the time to rest, to reflect, to find peace, to listen to the birds chirping, listen to the water gurgling in the stream, to go outside and feel the wind on our skin and feel the sun on our skin, to listen to the rain pouring, you know, and just be able to find peace with ourselves and, and with our mind and to try trust that everything we're doing is going just fine and to be able to let go of everything and just be able to communicate what's really in your heart. Do you want to own me? I need space and freedom. So there's a need to realize that you might have a little bit of a tendency to hold on to the people around you a little too tightly because you're afraid they're going to be gone. Instead, just learn how to enjoy the moment and enjoy the people around you for what they are and be appreciative and grateful for everything going on around you. A healthy lust for life and playfulness is what pushes us forward to face anything because then you'll be able to get into that more childlike playful energy because you'll be able to really let go and just be yourself and you'll be able to be doing the things you need to be doing at the same time too, which includes your job, your family, your friends, your kids, your spouse, your whatever you have going on, you know, you need to make a balanced time for all of it, but you need to make a balanced time for you too. So it is both sides of that. But when you're not making a balanced time for you, the people around you can't make a balanced time for them either, which means that energy is mirrored. They are feeling the same way, like they need to escape because it's clogging or because it's holding them down or in some way making them feel like they can't be themselves. But, but all it takes is that one person to open up and be themselves for everybody else around them to follow suit. A leader does what's right, no matter who is looking. And that's what a real leader is. And it's time for you to step up and be a leader. You might be a little too concerned with what others think. Exactly. Having a hard time freeing myself of the past and letting go of the pain. So it's time to let go of the pain of people who didn't accept you for who you are. Because you are beautiful exactly the way you are. And the people who belong in your life will see that. They will see that. But they will only see that once you see that. And once you start to accept it and show it to the world. So that's what I have for this pile. And I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion for a future video, I'd love to hear that as well. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Pile 2. So for Pile 2, what rebirth is coming your way? We have the Ace of Earth. The Ace of Pentacles. This is a new deck, so I'm still learning it. We have masculine and feminine, and that's one of the major arcanas, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Yeah. No, it's part of the fire. Sorry, it's part of the wands. It's the eleven of wands. So, twin flame if you're into that. Heaven and earth. Fine. Okay, this one is about, you're about ready to have this transformation where you are accepting your masculine and feminine sides and you're accepting the masculine and feminine sides of everyone around you instead of holding them to the labels that mankind has created. That's what a lot of this reading is going to end up being about, I have a feeling. So, and I don't, I haven't seen any of these ones yet, so we're going to check out the book for a second. New beginnings, goals, motivation, desire, preparations, opportunity, education, security, potential reward, 
and potential consequences. So there's a reward and consequences for everything in life. There's a cause and effect. What we do is what we generate. And when we're living in a healthy state and a balanced state in our minds, our bodies, our souls, and when we are receptive when we need to be, and when we are taking action when we need to be, because both are within every human, whether they're masculine or feminine, there is the action and the reception, receptive. And when we are doing what we need to be doing in each situation, it produces a different outcome. And practicality and pragmatism, starting anew, new financial career opportunity, reward versus consequences, making preparations, planning for the future, material gain, a secure desire for security. So there's a desire to begin new, to have a solid, stable, brand new beginning and there is a new beginning coming there is rewards coming for all the hard work that you have put in to find balance within yourself to find that stability within yourself and to be able to be accepting of yourself and others and who you truly are 256 So, 256, passive-aggressive, creation, destruction, action, inaction, masculine, feminine. Put aside gender stereotypes. We are both masculine and feminine. Masculine energy serves to protect. Feminine energy serves to nurture. Too much of one and not enough of the other? Time to evaluate and realign. Allow the energy to increase and ebb. Embrace the energy that best suits your needs. The 11 of fire is a balancing and realignment card. It symbolizes the importance of balancing our masculine and feminine energies and to remind us that we are and always will be a mix of both. Our physical gender is irrelevant. The 11 of fire asks that we look beyond gender stereotypes to how we respond and react to day-to-day -day experiences instead. On an energetic level, our masculine aspect serves to protect self and others, while our feminine aspect serves to nurture self and others. So there is a need for both in all of us so that we can do that for ourselves, so that we can do that for others, so that we receive that in return as well. And you know, if you're drawn to pile one and you're having issues with unequal gives and takes in your life, then know that a new type of situation where it's more equal is coming into play but you have to look at your own things as well to be able to change the things necessary accept them and learn from them and play them to your strengths find your strengths in each of those things instead of hating those things about yourself 11 of earth heaven and earth so 178 So for this one here, we have heaven and earth, above, below, nature, humanity, magic, mundane, material, immaterial. I'm pretty sure this one might be the, I don't know. Sorry. Anyway, the 11 of earth is a balancing and realignment card. And you have two 11 cards in here too. So there's two 11s, 11, 11. It means coming into alignment with your true path, your true life purpose, your true reason for being here in the first place, which is to find that love within yourself and that acceptance of yourself to be able to spread that to the rest of the world. Separation is an illusion. Center and align. Spiritual being in physical body. Connection. Spirit dwells in nature. Experience life and learn from experience. Symbiotic relationships harm the planet and you harm humanity. The ordinary is magical and the magical is ordinary. So really, you know, there is a brand new cycle coming into your life where you are starting to see things in a whole new way and a new understanding of connection and the fact that you are never alone and that you have so much guidance, wisdom, and understanding behind you. Your ancestors are behind you, your spirit guides, your divine power, your ascended masters, your beings of light, your star seeds, your gods, your whatever it is that you have behind you. It doesn't matter. It's all based around love originally. And you are starting to see that and you are starting to spread that and you are starting to live that, which means that is going to start coming back into your life as well. Step up to the plate, take the reins, courage lies within you. And sometimes we can have a hard time expressing our truth in those moments and really telling people what we believe in and fighting for what's right and standing up for ourselves and for others and for the planet and for animals and for 
you know, the people around us. And it's time to step up and take that leadership role to show people the direction and the way forward towards the light through connection and working together, collaborating. Time to be in the spotlight. No more hiding. Once again, yes, no more hiding. It's time to step up and no more invisibility. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Pile one would really help with you as well. You are having a new cycle come in where you are just able to step up, take charge, and be yourself. You are glowing right now. Even enjoy this feeling. So yeah, you really are glowing, radiating light, beauty, love all around you and everybody is seeing it and everybody is noticing it. You are noticing it. You are noticing it and everyone around you, which is why it's being noticed in you so much because you're willing to express it now instead of holding it back. Silence and time alone will bring you the answers that you seek. Take the time to meditate, take the time for self-care, take the time to reflect, take the time to really truly understand yourself, understand your inner being and your inner workings so you can put it to use in the most effective way and be the best leader you can. You are a light worker in this pile, I know you are. I need to get my life together first, I need to love myself so it's not toxic. Yes, you need to take charge and you need to love yourself and you need to take the time for self-care, self-love. You need to stay on your own goals and keep accomplishing what you started out to accomplish. And don't let yourself get distracted by the relationships in your life, but at the same time, understand that you do have them and they are good connections and be a good friend to them, but make sure they are being a good friend to you as well and make sure that everything is going good. You can lead it to peace. I have deceived you. I can't find the right words to speak the truth. And there may be people in your life that you're just trying to be patient with. Or maybe you need to be patient with yourself too. And maybe you need to understand and accept that both sides have their moments where they wear masks. And it's time to drop them. And it's time to let them go. And it's time to be understanding of other people's masks. Because we've all had our own at times. And it is hard to remove them. So be yourself more. And the people around you will be themselves more as well. But at times it is time to pull back from that energy and to allow people to be comfortable not having to. We are mirroring each other, acting out our triggers in our own ways. And try not to allow yourself to be pulled back into the overthinking, the anxiety, the hurt, the fear, the pain, the guilt, the shame, whatever it is, so that you aren't acting out those triggers either and be accepting of the triggers being acted out in others. Be compassionate, understanding, see it from their perspective. Everything is going to be okay. Calm your thoughts and find peace within. Remove the anxiety, remove the fear, allow yourself to breathe and your heart rate to slow and to ground yourself and to notice the things around you, the people around you, what's going on around you and just enjoy the moment and let it all go. You may feel very alone, but all you need to do is to reach out and see that you aren't. You are never alone. There's always, always, always something there with you. The connection is there, period. Everyone is connected. Everything is connected. This entire planet is connected. The entire universe is connected and it all works together to create this life. And we make the choice of whether or not we want to create our life. Been depressed, hard to find enjoyment in everyday life. You are going to start feeling that happiness, that optimism, that enjoyment, that usefulness, that passion for life again. But it all starts with that motivation, ambition, and drive to do what's right and stand up for what you need to because you know deep deep down exactly what that is. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion for a future video, I would love to hear that as well. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Pile number three. <clears throat> we have